Hello friends, welcome to Learner's Planet. This is Alka Maheshwari. In this session, we just see comparison between fractions and arrangement of fractions in ascending or descending order. In this session, friends, we'll be I'll be sharing some of the tips and tricks with you so you can do this sort of problems or uh, the comparison of fractions and their arrangement uh, very quickly and easily in your competitive exams. Uh, so let's begin our session. Uh, let's take one problem. Suppose I am having 2 by 3 and 5 by 6. Now friends, the very first step, if the fraction looks like smaller, uh, smaller numbers are there, then you just see the difference between numerator and denominator. Here the difference between numerator and denominator is 1. Here also the difference between numerator and denominator is 1. So, if the difference between numerator and denominator is same, in that case, the fraction which is having higher numerator or higher denominator will be bigger. You just have to see whether the numerator is higher. Uh, in this case, 2 is lesser than 5. That means 5 is greater than 2. So, the fraction 5 by 6 will be greater than 2 by 3. Okay, friends. Similarly, one more uh, uh, technique you can apply over here. It's 2 by 3. It's 5 by 6. You should do a cross multiplication. It's 2 into 6. We, start, we have to start from the numerator of left hand side's fractions. And here it is 5 into 3. So, here I am getting 12. And here I am getting 15. Now, since 15 is greater than 12, fraction 5 by 6 will be greater than now let's take one more example i'm having 2 by 3 and 13 by 17 now let's cross multiply it's 2 into 17 it's 3 into 13 so it's 34 it's 39 since 39 is greater than 34 13 by 17 will be greater than 2 by 3 13 by 17 is greater than 2 by 3 alternatively i can solve this problem i am writing 2 by 3 over here and 13 by 17 over here now the difference between numerator and denominator here is just 1 and difference between numerator and denominator here it is 4. So I can make this difference also 4 if I multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. That means the 4 times 1. So what it will be? It will be 8 by 12. So 8 by 12 is equivalent to 2 by 3 and this is 13 by 17. Now the difference between numerator and denominator in this case and in this case it is same. So now, now we can make the direct comparison. So as we have already discussed if the difference between numerator and denominator is same the number the fraction which is having higher numerator will be higher. So 13 by 17 will be greater than 8 by 12. Okay friends so we have shared three techniques over here. Uh, let's apply the techniques to some more problems. Uh, 